So today we're going to make some bangers. Um, traditionally they're made with hog casings and so that's the first thing you'll need. And this is what they look like. They are literally hog intestines. They're kind of gross. Um, and we're going to grind some pork so we're going to need a grinder. This one is old and beat up and horrible. Um, but it works. Um, you can also use one on your Cuisinart. Um, you can see that block of meat there is frozen. I previously cut that. Um, you want it to be cold. You want it to. Be, you want the meat to be really cold when you put it in there because it's going to grind better. Um, I only had to grind this one time. Normally you have to grind it a couple times if it's not uh, cold. So basically here I'm just cutting up some of the larger pieces um, and I have some actual just fat that I've added to the meat. This is a pork shoulder and that pretty much is all you need is a pork shoulder. Um, you can add some fat to it but you want to keep it, uh, you, you can use uh, suet if you want to but I would keep it uh, hog fat. And then uh, this is the grind. Um, my grinder is a little crooked. It's old and just needs to be replaced. But anyway, so I'm grinding this up and I think I have about three pounds, I'm guessing. I don't, I don't deal in specific numbers per se. I should, but I don't. So I'm guessing I end up with about three pounds of meat. Um, and I'll show you here in a minute what it looks like. Could be two, could be two and a half. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's closer to three. But um, for that, you're gonna want a specific amount of everything else that you're gonna add in here. Uh, I used about a half a teaspoon of all of the uh, other substances. And that is the jerky gun. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. But right here you see all the spices uh, and I have them listed on here. I use about half a teaspoon and we're just gonna put these all together in the meat and then mix them up. Um, I just use my hands, it works fine. If you have a meat mixer, obviously use that, but you'll probably be using much larger amounts if you're doing that. Um, so then when it's done, you let it rest. Uh, you can probably sit it in the refrigerator uh, with some foil over it or saran wrap for quite some time. Then you're gonna put it in this tube. This is the jerky gun. Um, and we're gonna put, I actually had to go out and get this, uh, the nozzle, I don't know what else to call it, on the front of that jerky gun um, because Basically, it, the ones that came with it were too small. Um, they, you couldn't get the hog casings on them. This is a uh, KitchenAid, I believe, brand. And I figured we have a KitchenAid, so we might be able to use it later. Uh, there's a grinder attachment to the KitchenAid. I could have used that. Um, just don't have one. And this is the first attempt. I'm using the smaller of the two uh, nozzles there, and it just, it's just not working out right. It looks horrible. Um, yeah, it's kind of scary looking right there. Uh, the hog casings are actually larger than I thought, and you need to squeeze a little bit more meat into those. So we'll have another attempt here. The second attempt looks exactly what uh, bangers are supposed to look like. Um, and I just, you know, you just fill it up, and then you uh, you have to twist it after you get a certain amount. That's a link size right there. So there you have it. That's a banger. Right there, it's awesome. And this, uh, this is, I guess those are only called bangers specifically because of, I don't know why they're called bangers, but <laughs> specifically they're just not sausage because of the spices that they have in them. Um, and I, let me tell you, there's a big difference between like Italian sausage and a banger. These are obviously English uh, if you've ever had an English breakfast you'll know exactly what I'm talking about is it's tremendously different um, really good really really good I'm Irish not necessarily uh, English but 
they they do have similar uh, bangers in Ireland as well. Um, and this I just totally messed up and <laughs> went way too long with that. But I, as you can see, I uh, I ended up fixing that a little bit. So these are the, this is the end result. They look really good. Um, and then if you have some air in them, you can just pop them with a uh, little uh, piece of. You can use a toothpick, which is what I used. And then these are them cooked. These are the smaller ones that didn't look so good in the first place. These are really good. It tasted fantastic. Um, you want to let them rest. Uh, you're supposed to let them hang in a cellar for a certain amount of time. You can even smoke them if you want to, but I just put them in the fridge for 24 hours uh, on an open plate. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more of these, please uh, like it and subscribe and let me know. Thanks.